What's up, everybody? How you doing today? Hope you're having a good one. It is Tuesday. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Uh, I was going to stream last night. Sorry, I didn't. I was taking Sunday off. Uh, I was going to stream last night, and then I realized, oh, it's the NCAA championship. And I want. I just wanted to watch it just to see. Um, so sorry about that. And the video on the Moors is coming uh, still. And there will be a video on what we're about to watch a stream on tonight, which is the, what is it called? The JVT? HVT? Horus? Eric, what's up, man? Seven years, good luck. Thank you for the leaving the like. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you uh, haven't done that already, leave a like on the stream. You get seven years, good luck. I made a deal with YouTube today. So um, I kind of want to... I kind of want to just babble here for a second. Uh, which you're like, hey, what's new? But I ordered something yesterday from Amazon. Um, and I was like, oh, that could look really cool for the streams. And it's... Okay. You know how when you get close enough to Amazon delivering your package... They start go like if you go to it, maybe you've never done this because you just it's there when it's there and you see it and like, oh, you got the email that you know the thing's there. But if you get when you get close enough to the package actually being delivered, you can see it's like oh, it's five stops away, four stops away, three stops away, and you can see where the car is. Kind of like when you get a Lyft or an Uber, and you can see where your car is that's coming for you. And mine says five stops away. Now this is a very big uh, apartment complex, so. It's showing that his vehicle is in the property. Um, so easily five stops could be like all five of them in here. I think I'm just going to get started. But um, I, I really <laughs> like it's it's a small thing. And if it, I'm so worried it's not going to work at all. Because, you know, it's one of those things like I was literally on Instagram. I spent I don't know about you guys, but like I spend usually like. Somewhere between 10 to 30 seconds on Instagram a day. And that's about it. And I'm like, oh, that's a cute dog. That's a cute dog. That's a cute girl. And that's it. And then I'm gone. And as I was scrolling yesterday, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> <laughs> what's up, Tim? Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, I'm just kind of trying, I'm just going to try to kill a little bit of time here at the beginning. We're not going to go full on, just like waste your time, but it's like, I think the guy is in the property. Like, I think he's here. He's just not here yet. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not a big deal. It's just going to make the background look better. It's not a green screen, but I was scrolling through Instagram and I was like, I, I think I like, I passed I don't know, whatever, like your, your, your stuff that you're on, you know, like, Hey, you're caught up. And like the next thing was, was this, or I had, you know, like as an ad within the stuff that you're, you you follow. Again, I really don't spend a lot of time on Instagram. And uh, I was like, Oh shoot, that looks really cool. It kind of looked cool, but like the, what it does is kind of cool as well. So it's a little spaceman is what it is basically. Um, and you know how I've got the LED lights? Like, you probably can't even see it. Like, you see the like the blue kind of, um, like, over here and behind me over here? It's coming up from the, like, I put these, these, um, like, a blue LED strip. Well, not blue. I put an LED strip along the back there and over on the back side of the bookshelf to kind of just give it a little ambiance in the back. But it's very minor. And something I've, I've written really never liked is that kind of white wall behind me here. It's just too blah. That's why I always have the door open and I try to put that light on in the back. It's it's kind of hot here today. It's like 80 degrees right now. 78. or 70, Yeah, 78. It says. And um, so anyway, <clears throat> I've been... Uh, I, I, it looked really cool. And I'm just hoping that like I can turn these lights down and just have it be a bit more atmospheric behind me. Um, and just so it'll look a little bit nicer. It's not that big a deal. Four stops away. Um, 
so yeah it's not that big a deal but i just thought it would look cool but i i, I really i'm i'm so worried because the price was actually pretty cheap um i clicked on the thing itself the actual ad on instagram and it took me to their page and it's like normally this is 110 dollars, but today it's on sale for 45 or whatever like it's a hell of a markdown like are we sure that it's good but then you see like there's like 1500 reviews and like 95 percent of those are five star reviews he's like okay well it's on their own website though so that doesn't really mean anything to me um so i was like let me see if you can get this from amazon and uh, i found i think it's this thing it looks exactly like it but the name was like a little bit slightly different maybe so in 98% of the effect. Yeah, the review. I don't trust reviews from p their own website. I really can't. It's very hard to trust. Unless you go to like Amazon and there's 15,000 reviews. Like, okay. I doubt that. Although, who knows now with um, AI. But um, they at least do have some verified purchases and all that kind of stuff uh, on Amazon. Whereas other people's. I'm a sucker for lighting. <laughs> I hope it looks good because it basically can kind of look like the solar system behind me here. Or like, it'd just be a little bit more atmospheric, right? Than just kind of like this kind of harsh uh, white that's behind me. Um, you know, that's why I put the blue there. But when it's a little bit even light like it is now, uh, you, it's very hard to kind of see it. You know, it's not, it doesn't look great. Okay, so... It doesn't make any sense that he was in the property and now he's going further away. Okay, whatever. Uh, all right, let's just let's just jump into a, a, a game here, and then we'll. Uh, that sounds like a sweet setup, though. The 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 lighting thing. I mean, it, it looked really cool. Like I gotta be honest. Like normally that kind of stuff, I'm just like I just keep scrolling past. You know, it's like whatever, 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 and just how this was projected and it's like a little guy i think he's like maybe i don't think he's he's probably smaller than this coffee <clears throat> he'll sit on my desk right here and his face is like a projector and you can just like you know have this like scene behind you going on so the lights and i think it moves a little bit like it's not crazy but i don't know we'll see so I mean, I'll probably have to turn, like, I'll keep my ring light on and, like, I'll close the blinds all the way. I'll turn this light you, that you guys can't actually see, but, like, I'm getting some light from here. Um, I'll turn that off and close the door behind me and, like, try to project it onto the back, you know, back there. So maybe it'll look kind of cool. I, I'm hoping it will anyway, but... Um, anyway, okay. We'll get to that in a minute um, after this first game. So... I'll keep half an ear out and half an eye, uh, an eye on the uh, delivery guy. Um, you can see my containment level for this character is at 164. Uh, for Snoop, it's just over 100. So we'll get her, Ripper, we'll get her over 200 today while we're streaming this. And then we'll switch back over to Snoop. And um, we probably won't get him over 200, but we can bump him up, right? And then maybe, I don't know, we'll work to get it like everybody over 300 or something. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so let's look at the actual loadout I have on this gun now. So, by the way, the Stingers are supposedly, like, really good. Like, I'm finding them to be pretty good. I haven't really tested them in Tier 3. Uh, I'm doing the duels. You can, we're not going into this right now. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, you can kind of see my setup on the, the Stingers. So this is the pistols, by the way. I have the dual, uh, the Akimbo, you know. Uh, noxious short stock uh, barrel, the verdant, verdant hook mount laser, 32 round mag, WSP factory stock, and they're pretty good like that. Like I'm digging it. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really tested it in tier three too much though to really kind of judge. But we're th what we're doing today is this FJX horse. This is a new gun. I don't have all of the camos for it, so we're gonna work towards that as well. I have the first two, and I really like this one. That's why I have it on. Uh, we need to get 200 critical kills with it. And we have to get it up to one more level, I think, like to 19 or something. Oh, no, to get it to 18. So we're there, and then we have to get... Oh, we just have to, with a, a, a blue or higher um, ether tool on it. So that will be super easy. 
So we're looking for critical kills, basically, on this. So we'll put on Deadshot uh, if I can. I don't know what I have in my backpack at the moment. But I have the Mar Martis, Martis Heavy Barrel. I don't know about this setup, by the way. This is just what I have on it right now. I'm not saying this is the best. Uh, it's just what I have. Again, the Verdant Hook uh, Cylinder Laser. The Ripper Light Stock in the 48 round magazine with the Bruin Tactical Vertical Grip. For me, in Zombies, um, everything for me is about making the hip fire better. So if I don't have to aim down sight, great. But we're going to have to because we're doing... Uh, we need critical kills. But for the most part, normally, uh, what I want is to hip fire and for that to be dead straight. So I don't have to aim down sight. I can faster when I'm moving. Um, I don't have to come in and out of you know ADS. I can just hip fire and move, hip fire and move, and hip fire and move. And... Um, I've had this RGL in my back pocket just because I, I think I picked one up as I was playing through. And I was like, oh, uh, why not just grab that? Because I had nothing else in my secondary. So I was like, okay. So whatever. I've been using it. Um, as far as our like setup over here, like what we, we're going in with, I just don't have any room. Like if you go into my stash, it's like I'm 10-10. I've got three Scorchers. Uh, I got a couple of flawless crystals. The flawless crystals basically, I think, is going to be the most um, replaceable item that I have in my uh, backpack here or my stash. Because, especially when you have your characters up each over 100, you get the discount for pack a punch. You start with five grand. Like, you can get a, yourself pack a punch in 10 minutes, like triple papped, from just doing contracts and stuff. So, I think I'm going to start getting rid of those. Uh, just get them out of my stash so I can have like the real good stuff which is like the golden armors the scorchers legendary tools um, especially with the ether tools again you just you can't buy them you can't really do anything to get them other than get lucky so um, yes yeah, so the flawless crystals it's nice but it's not it's not at all necessary um, and that's kind of it so uh, we'll just, hop, like I said, let's just hop in right now. And we got a bunch of, uh, headshots to get and a, just like a ton of, what was, what was the other challenge? Oh, just with the rare or higher, uh, ether tool on it. Okay. Which is just kind of a weird challenge. And then of course the hundred kills for the, um, Golden Enigma. Still probably the best camo in the game. Well, in, in Zombies. Ooh, I'm the next stop. Oh my god. Just when I start up this stupid game. Should I back out? Tell me right now. Should I back out? Should I back out? Should I back out? It's probably going to suck. It's not even going to be that big a deal. <laughs> like, this is going to be such a letdown. <laughs> but he's here. He's just not like... Here, 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 yet. Yeah, back out. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep the headphones off as well, just so I can hear him coming. Um, this is going to be such a disappointment. It's going to be so disappointing. <laughs> Set her up. Now, I think, well, I mean... And it comes with a little remote as well. So you like, you know, click, click, click it. But I think you just put the batteries in, which I hope it comes with batteries because I don't know. Like I have either double A's or triple A's. I don't think I have both. Um, and then I think it's just like a, you know, like do you want it on number one, number two, number three, or something like that. I don't know that there's like a, a whole lot of setup that's going on. Something that I really don't like, by the way, is my front door is this way, which when I'm sitting here, I can look out and I can see the delivery guys coming, whatever, or the mailman or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like that we were streaming when my Xbox Series X showed up, like during the stream. I was like, oh, I see the guy, you know, and I went and got it and we did the unboxing. And lately they've been delivering to the back door, which I really don't like because... I mean, it's the door I go in and out of, to be honest with you. I really never go out the front door unless I'm going to get the mail or pick up a package. But um, they've been dropping stuff off at the back lately, which just... I don't like because it's easier for people to steal stuff, too. Like, it's, I don't know. 
Oh, last time I didn't go too well with the maintenance dude, though. Oh, my God. Do you remember that? Oh, well, you do, obviously, Tim, because <laughs> you mentioned it. Yeah, those... Uh, he he kind of... He, he really bothered me that day. Like... I'm going to need to go over it again. Okay, now he's... Let me go check. <coughs> it's not there yet, but like on Amazon, like his car is gone now. Like it's... It doesn't show that I'm next or that he's anywhere. Like, it just shows that he's gone. Yeah, but, like, my next-door neighbor, they had their, um... They have a little bit of patio furniture up back, which I do as well, but they had their, uh... The cushions for their, like, uh, outdoor chairs stolen a few weeks back. Um... So I just prefer that, like, if they didn't... I mean, it's a nice place, but... I mean, I guess you can't stop everything. Um, I just wish they wouldn't put it out back, though, because, like, I don't know. The front door, like, here for the front, in order to get, like, from the outside, it's actually, like, I'd say about 75-yard total walk, like, time. You're from here to, not time, distance. Um, from my front door to, like, to get to the outside, to the gate, it's at least 75 yards. Probably, probably closer to 100 to be honest with you. But to the back, there's just like it's not very far at all, maybe 20 yards. And you kind of coming in like it's like the back way in by the dumpsters and like a, through a, a carport area. And like there's just walls and stuff back there. And I don't know, man. I just don't like that they d drop stuff off at the back. I've never had any issues, but for me personally, but. Uh, I know, obviously, like I said, my neighbors have had problems and I've heard of other people having some stuff go wrong. This is going to be so disappointing, man. <laughs> I'm already ready for it and I'm just like, oh God, why are we waiting? I should have just played. And I don't know what the hell just happened to him. I don't know, like, why? I'm checking my email, like, even, like, did he drop it off and... Because, you know, they take the picture and they send it to you. But I don't see him anywhere. And it doesn't say delivered. Did I hear something? Alright, look, we're just going to play a game and then we'll check after that because I don't know what happened to him. He's not showing up on the, the map anymore and it's like, he should have been like here. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not far. <laughs> so anyway, let's just play a game and then uh, we'll see what's what after after that. Uh, Kanoka, what's going on, man? Good to see you again. Alright, so let's hop in. We're going to go with this FJX Horix. Um, this first game, we're going to just like try to go through these camos. Um, I don't know if we're going to head into tier three right off the rip here or not. Uh, we, we are going to, don't worry, but it's just kind of using, like, we'll see how far we get with the, just kind of check, uh, testing it out, uh, whether we do it this game or next game. So I don't know, like I'm going to use up an ether blade and golden armor and whatever to go into the next 
into the you know um, to go into tier three when I'm not really gonna do much with it. There's like ten minutes left in the game. Like I don't know. By the way, since tier th uh, since season three, what do you guys think? Eric, what's up? Send it. Uh, we're gonna we're going in. It's just a uh, it's just a matter of like we're doing it this game or next game. Plus, I want to go like probably try to make this game. Uh, this first game here pretty quick to go check to see that package and then just set it up here and see what we can do about this background. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think we're just going to try to be quick about this first game and then we'll get into tier three and really testing it out after that. Although it's all a real test, like the number one thing you need in this game, man, as far as like your weapon goes, how good is your weapon? Is that legendary ether tool? There's just such a drop off. Even just having epic on it, triple papped, whatever. Go into tier three, even on like because I've used this in tier three over the last couple of days, um, and it's it's pretty good. But if you, I, I was not using a legendary ether tool on it, it's like it's pretty good. It's not it's not great. Oh crap, here we go. <laughs> Don't say it when you bring a dog. Uh, we will, if we can actually, uh, I was talking about this the other day too, like, when you're using that, um, so this has nothing on it, by the way. No ether tool, no pack a punch, whatever. And that's the hip fire. The build that I have on it, like, it's pretty steady, man. You know what I would like to do, probably right off the bat. And I don't have... Let's start aiming for the head. You know what? We could... Uh, you know what? Let's go. We're going to grab this um, this vehicle. And then we're going to go get Speed Cola real quick. And then we'll come back and we will do like the Outlast contract maybe. How nice would it be if that was Speed Cola and not stamina up the perk machine there. But you guys tell me, what is your favorite weapon since Season 3 started? Favorite and, like, best, because they can be different. And are you noticing since Season 3 started a big change with um, the amount of zombies that you think you're seeing in Tier 3? Because it feels different to me. Like, the 100%, the biggest thing for me right now... With tier three is um, the uh, the mega bombs, their laser attack is way more deadly than it used to be. Like significantly more deadly than it used to be. So much so that like now really going in there solo. Solo is like since they really since season one. Since, you know the preseason it was great. Once you kind of figure things out, um, it was really good, and you could definitely have a lot of fun in there, and run around and have a great time. Still was challenging, but you could, you know, you could get in there, you could have fun, and um, not like completely have to be on your toes a hundred percent of the time, like eighty-five percent of the time you had to, but like not the entire time. And now it just doesn't feel like that to me, man. They've the, they've buffed the amount of zombies that spawn. They uh, their regeneration rate, like when they start respawning, like after you clear out an area. Um, we know about the purifier, of course, which I fully agree, by the way, needed to be nerfed. I just didn't think it needed to be nerfed like into and through the ground because it's terrible now, obviously. It's so bad. I mean, it still does a very good job on the crowd control aspect. It's still, you know, one... Uh, you just hit any zombie with one little spurt of the of the fire, and they will die. But then it basically does nothing to any kind of HVT is really... I don't know, man. I mean, this is doing... Talk about doing nothing. 
Now, in fairness, we're in tier two here. This is not packet punched. Not even an ether tool on it. And that's, you know, for that, that's not bad. So what we should do is let's go ahead and put an ether tool on it. Purple one. Not pack a punch still. So like that's pretty good. How fast we just killed them. I thought servers were down. How are you on? I have no idea. I didn't know that they were down. I haven't seen anything about them being down at all today. I've seen some people, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> having an issue with their accounts basically reset to zero, but that has been resolved. So if that was an issue for you, you can supposedly log back on and it will should be fine again. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but as far as I know, that is not a problem anymore. Let's go do, let's just do the outlast and we could probably blow through these next group of uh, kills that we need. I kind of wish they would just... I don't know, the whole, like, you're constantly bearing in mind of the, the missions, like, I've done the missions, I've done the missions, you don't have to tell me about them every time I go into tier 2 again, like, done it. No. Uh, tier 3 was insane today, solo today, I just had, uh, horde after horde, felt like I was reviving guys left and right, complete pleasure for help all game. Yeah, I mean, tier three is just like, for, I mean, still, if you're in a, a, a squad of, you got three people or even more, it's fine. It, you, you really don't even have to worry. Even two players, really. It's just that solo, like, I kind of don't even want to go into tier three anymore unless I've got it, like, I've got my, um, dude, that, this is not Pack-A-Punch. A little legendary tool, that's it. I mean, it's, it's good. Oh, we are going to pick that up. Oh, I don't have room. Okay, let's pack punch. Because I do want to call in a dog. And there was a... Um, there was a dog house just down the road. You know what I don't like, though, is like when you're using a crystal... I mean, you know, if you're going up to the, to the pack a punch itself and you want to keep your camo, which I actually like the camo that I had on... You know, you just melee it, and you um, your camo won't change when you pack a punch. But when you use the crystal, as far as I know, there's no way to to keep it that from happening, is there? I just always like to use it. Energy mine's great. gonna say wait a minute and now I know I didn't pick up why am I getting that okay it's fine uh, sure we'll stow that and like I said let's go let's go ahead and call in a dog there was a, a dog house I think right over here. right behind this uh, is this a train station I think so right I thought it was right here. It's not? I could have sweared. I mean, however you look at it, this gun is good. It's just like, how good really is it? Like, is it... I don't even know what the, the best gun in the game right now is, to be honest with you. I was using the uh, the tears, uh, dual wheel tears, a couple days ago. Trying things out. And, um, they're good. They're definitely good. They've never been bad, really, right? Um, it's just... 
you can always balancing that amount of ammo really that you have you, you know you're constantly reloading you just have to um you have to melee the pack much before you use the person uh, yeah, but like if I, I'm not gonna melee the pack a punch, like if I've got a crystal, I'm not gonna go to the pack a punch. You know what I mean? So like if if that's possible, then cool. I get what you're saying. Like it's possible to do, but um, I, I I'll have to try that some at some point. But uh, kind of defeats the purpose. Well, it doesn't really defeat the purpose necessarily, but you're going out of your way to to go out of your way, really. What, you didn't grab that? Thank you. Single path, legendary, in tier two. I mean, if they've got armor, it's a lot, a lot worse. I can't interact. Why can I not interact? Okay. All right. Um, let's go grab that because it's close. Why not? Take the points. We get double pep here as soon as we do this contract. Um. Yeah, we might go into tier three. I don't want to waste the legendary ether tool I put on this thing as well. I just realized I, I forgot. Like, yeah, I put the legendary tool in. It might as well go into tier three, right? Yeah, but man, like tier three now is just like I said. It's just kind of like it, when you're solo. It's just I don't know. They they've taken the fun out of the, out of the game. Period. I think. He's jumping over the fence. What are you doing? Okay, let's giddy up. I've noticed the locations, like, they have actually changed a lot of these uh, uh, cargo, deliver cargo contracts. They've changed the um, the delivery location uh, for a lot of them. Like, I've had stuff where I've, like, it's, even if it's the same location that you've been to before, it's not the same starting point that, like, you've never gone in that direction. Um, but there are different end locations, uh, a little bit. Like, they're not all different. But I had one in tier two the other day, which was like, it sent me, I, I was, uh, I don't even remember where I started, but uh, it started sending me off into a direction. I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 we never go that way for this one. And then this time we did though, so. Ooh. But yeah, the tier three dude, like I, I, I don't like messing with the mega bombs like now at all when I'm solo. Although I haven't gone in there with like a I know this gun is great kind of a gun lately. Um because I've been like testing and doing whatever, kind of messing around. Messing around's a little bit strong. But you know what I mean. Um So I haven't been like full on confident with what I'm bringing in either. But man, the mega bombs do like I said, they just they laser you like you cannot move. It seems like the damage is stronger, and there is always, always, always more zombies spawning. Man, it's like you never get a moment's uh, rest in there. So it's like you got to be really genuinely prepared to go into tier three now, especially solo. Again, with people, like whatever, it's fine. You got each other's backs. You're fine. You don't need stamina up. You don't need jug. You don't need. You know, whatever. Like, you'll be alright. But solo? Like, you really don't want to do that. Oh, Jesus. I just saw a text pop up from my mother, and... 
Normally this is not the time of day she would text me. It freaks me the frick out every time I... <laughs> I don't like getting texts from... Like, we have a specified time of day when you're allowed. I don't like to break that because every time I see something like that pop up... Any kind of family, really. It's just like, wait, wait, wait. Because I'm on uh, West Coast. They're all East Coast. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. What's wrong? You're not supposed to be texting me at this point, at this time of the day. What's up, Joe? How you doing today? Science and growth. Okay, let's just get out of that. Okay, we have, we'll throw that short because they still haven't fixed that. If going slow, you need lots of self-revives or a dog. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice. We need to um, try to get like another meat, hopefully. And then we can get like a tier two dog. Well, provided we can get the doghouse to work. I'm assuming that dog, uh, maybe that doghouse wasn't working because I only had, it was tier two and I only had the one piece of meat. Like, it's been a long time since I've tried. Wait a minute, what happened to this contract? Somebody took it? Or is it this one? Alright, whatever. Let's do this because uh, we're testing this gun, so let's do an HVT. Um, I'm good, man. Cat, what's going on? Uh, Cat, there is something. Oh! We were talking the last stream that I was here. Eric, you were like, you know, I was talking about a um, uh, the, the slowest. Slowest. Oh my god, it was painful to use. Uh, sniper. Like, ever. As far as I can remember. Like, I don't like using... Because we're using the Moors, right? And I was talking about uh, sniper rifles in zombies. And I couldn't remember the name of it. And, um, Eric, you said... Called it... You are saying, like, it's, is it this one or whatever? And I was like, I, I honestly don't remember. And it's actually called the Cat. The one that I was talking about. So, anyway, that just stuck in my brain, so I had to mention that. <laughs> now that you're here, Kat. Uh, I hated that achievement for the doghouse. The dog half the time didn't work. Uh, we, we just went... Because I honestly don't remember. Because I only have one piece of meat on me. We went to a tier 2 doghouse. So, maybe that's why I couldn't interact. But I thought you could interact and, like, give it. It just wouldn't come out. But, like I said, it's been a very long time since I've actually um, done that. We might just go ahead and use a dog bone. I have one on me, I think. We'll check. And by the way, I think um, I figured something else out. Not something else, but something out the other day. Is when... Because I'll just sit there and let the the some of these HVTs rush me. Whether it's a, a Mimic or a Mangler or whatever. Like, Just get it close and you're just kind of wailing on it. Um, but if you let it get too close, I think so, a lot of the bullets don't register. I think they're kind of like you're shooting past, like the barrel of your gun, especially if it's a something like a Moors or an LMG or whatever. I think the barrel of the gun is actually past um, the HVT, and you're not actually doing damage to it. You're doing like maybe half the damage you normally would, because it's like you, if you notice, like you start taking a long time to kill a thing where you shouldn't be taking very long to kill it. It could be that. Actually, let's go do this other HPT while we're here. Uh, Cat AMR, bro, where's my Activision page? <laughs> exactly. Man, the cat's the best for it. MWZ. Oh, is it? Oh, for Warzone, for Warzone. I was going to say, wait a minute, wait, did you say MWZ? No, no, you said Warzone. I've been watching... Um, <clears throat> I've been watching some DMZ, uh, yeah, DMZ streams the last couple of days. Did that just somebody just pick that up too? Like I swear to God, that it was there. Like right, and it's this trailer that has it, right? <clears throat> when I looked on my mini map, uh, I swear to God, it was there. I swear to God. Okay. Love some free perks, man. All right, let's get this. <clears throat> man. Half the time it wouldn't, wouldn't let me pat the dog. You've got to be in such like the exact right spot to pat the dog too, like for the thing to pop up. It's really kind of annoying. 
Okay, so it still says out for delivery, even though, like, by the way, my package, even though it showed the guy's literally, like, being here, so. I don't know what's going on with this thing, dude. I love not really, like, if you got a good gun that you don't have to aim. Although, like, a lot of that just felt like it was... Felt like it was going right through, and we just had a weird little glitch there, it felt like. Hmm. That was weird. Okay. Something that I, I did notice with this gun over the uh, weekend when I was using it, I upgraded it a little bit. Like I said, I kind of got it like halfway there. The is when you would aim down sight and then you would like let go and try to move off and move on to the next thing. It was more than just like, um, you know, there's that kind of, uh, the, the, the aim assist will like make you, your focus like turn right toward some zombies when you're not even like trying to go in that direction. Like you can't pull off of them almost. But this was like a delay from being aimed down sight to just letting go. Like it wouldn't in sprinting. Like it was. It's a very strange. I'll see if I can replicate it after we get we uh, we go ahead and park this thing after the delivery. And see if I can show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know if it's just the way the gun is. I don't know like what it is about it, but it feels really bad. Because it's like you're trying to sprint away and it like the gun won't let you. I mean, something won't let you anyway. But if you're aimed on sight like this and then you kind of pull off and then go. Yeah, there. There, there. Do you see how I was like stuck? Like it kept me swinging over like. I had let go. I'm still trying. Like it won't let me just pull away. And I don't know if it's like hardcore aim assist. Uh, like, like I'm not exactly sure what is going on with that, but it's it's terrible. See, because normally if I'm like that, I could just kind of pull it and you lift it up and, and you're running. And with that, it was just like it stayed down, like it stayed kind of like in between, like here, and then it wouldn't pull up, and like it finally would let go. And I think it's the aim assist, like holding it after you come from ADS and you let go. And it's like holding it and you're trying to run and it won't let you do it. Anyway, it's a thing with this gun that I've noticed since uh, it, it, I've been using it, which is only the last few days, of course, because it's only been out for a few days. But I really, really, really hate when that happens. And it's only this gun <clears throat> that it seems to happen uh, with. So, uh, although I haven't used a ton of... Uh, guns since you know the I use the Moors and um, and this and I've tried uh, uh, the Stingers like I said again but that's a that's a Kimbo so it's a little bit you know it's not gonna react the same way I did kind of want to uh, try the because you know how uh, well maybe you don't the um, the Renetti uh, Jack conversion kit. It's kind of broken right now on multiplayer, and I kind of wanted to try it, which I, I played a little bit of the multiplayer over the weekend just to kind of try things out a little bit, um, and it was good. I mean, for a pistol, it was really good, but um, they're, they're going, they already acknowledged that, that they're going to nerf it. It's like, it's not, this wasn't supposed to happen, so don't get used to it. We're going we're gonna to change it, so um, I wanted to try it in zombies for, uh, just check it out and see what it's like, though. So maybe we'll try that a little bit of that today as well. See how, you know, where we get. <clears throat> oh God! Does Amazon break again? I don't. I mean, I kind of want to go like drop this and check real quick, but there's no way it'll let me. I mean, the game, it was just like, as soon as I walk away, 
something's gonna come. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's get to tier three. I have, I don't have stam, which I would like to have stamina. But we can get stam while we're over there. And the only other thing really is... Does that work? Oh, I must have, I did that because I had pulled this up. Okay. I was like, did that zombie, a regular zombie just, <laughs> just dropped a thousand points? Like, no way. It was me. Uh, just sub, keep grinding. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate the subscription, man. Uh, by the way, this whole month, you can subscribe on YouTube absolutely free. It will cost you nothing for the whole month. So go ahead and hit subscribe right now. I mean, it's always free. It's, it's YouTube, but I'm just, you know, you're trying to trick people. That's what I, I, I need to do. I need to trick people. All right, let's go triple pap this thing and um, see what she'll do against the bigger bad guys in the game. And it is hot right now, and my hands are actually sweaty because it's so warm out. Whoa, okay. Uh, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that down real quick. Thank you. You know what we're going to do? Oh, uh, oh, yes, I do. I do, I do. Okay. Might as well pop that on, too. Yeah, I'm not going to use the Scorcher. Okay. Regular zombies? Get wrecked, fool. Like, that was pretty good, right? 96 bullets. Not amazing as far as, like, how many bullets you have. Um, and this is the largest clip size, uh, magazine size that the gun has. That you can get with it. So not not awesome there. And you do go through the bullets fast. Let's get Stam. Just so we can run quickly. And get quick revive as well. Now let's try to find... Whew, I say like let's try to find... I don't actually want to find them. I mean I do but... Let's get a Mega Bomb. We could just go back to the front door, basically, there, where we came in. Oh, we've got one now over there. So, this is the thing, too, is, like, you don't want to get ganged up on with these Mega Bombs being around now. Like, they just do... It does too much damage when it, with its laser, like I said. It really does too much damage with its laser. So we're not, like... That was a long charge. Fucking hell. Getting hit by... Yeah. Not good. Okay, he's gone. That's good. But like the Mega Bomb, like he just healed. He's completely healed. And I don't know if that was because of the Disciple or what. And... Oh, I'm not gonna run out of ammo, really. Like, did, did the Disciple give him all of his health back? Or is he magically healing himself now? So as you can see, and the mega bomb, like, it's not awesome. We're got up to about fifty percent health now. Finally, and I'm gonna run out of ammo. So I'm gonna go refill real quick before he like dips out of here completely and like just heals himself some does something weird I mean we're shooting him right in the mouth come on big boy 
way. Dude, come on. It takes a lot, man. And I, I, I don't even want to say it's a, a problem with this gun, because I don't think it is a problem with this gun. I think it's... I just think it's a problem with um, what they did for the uh, for the HVTs. That's not even HVT. I shouldn't say that for the uh, for the bosses in this game. Because this gun was nothing special at all against uh, against the Mega Bomb for sure. Like I mean. How long did that take us? How many how many bullets did it take us alone? You know what I mean? So I think they've honestly I it's not a complaint about the gun. I think it's just I was like, did the brain rod zombie just hit me? <clears throat> I think it's just what they've done to the game. Like we took one of these guys out fairly quick. Like, look at that. That's great. It's. I think they just made the mega abominations. Like, I think it was kind of... I, I'll be honest with you. I think probably what happened is... This was supposed to be, like, the true... Like, remember the big back at the beginning of the game? <clears throat> we were, like, scared. People were scared of seeing that thing. Like, oh, my God, turn around, turn around. Go across the bridge again. Um... And I think now it became like, let's just farm these things for points. Because <laughs> we figured it out. But like the other day on stream, I used a, a Juggernaut against one, uh, a Mega Bomb. And it literally did zero damage to it. Zero damage. A, a, a Juggernaut suit. So... They made it so that's a thing now. Um, this is not the first time they've completely wrecked the Juggernaut suit. Uh, like against wor the worms, it doesn't do anything. Literally doesn't do anything. Where did he go? How the hell did he get up there? Come on, bring that. Do your job. Pop them in the mouth. Yeah, dude, I think they really just made it so it's just harder just just because it's their kind of like, this was our big bad of the game, and you guys aren't treating it like it's that big or bad. <clears throat> um, and it's, I don't know, man. I've already kind of gone over all the reasons why I think it's dumb for them to have done things the way they've done them, but... So I suppose I won't go over it again, but man, like I, I, I really don't like that. Like if we're just figuring things out, like we're not, I don't know, like we're not breaking anything. We're just kind of using what the game gave us. So, and by the way, that doghouse was definitely glitched because as you saw there, I was able to put in the meat. Like I was just checking. Um, anyway. Uh, Angelina, hello. I watched your channel when you played We Happy Few. Oh my god, wow. I love that game, by the way. Um, actually, they retweeted me the other day because it was on sale like a 70% or 75% off. And I was just like, this is one of my favorite games of the last decade. Like, 70% off is like stealing. This is an incredible game. Everybody should buy it. I've talked about it a bunch of times on this channel. Just, you know, during my streams of zombies and stuff. Um, Highly, highly, highly recommend that game. We Happy Few. Awesome game by Compulsion Games. 
But uh, yeah, thank you for uh, checking checking that out. All right, let's see how we do with this HVT. I mean, it's a disciple. You guys were here the other day, I think. Um, or maybe it was, I put it in my video as well, but I don't remember if it was during the stream or not. Um, I think these disciples are broken again. Like, I can't get enough zombies off of me to actually pay attention to the Disciple. Where the hell did it go? Is it in the store? Like, dude, we are doing no damage. What was that gun I was using on... Uh, We've, we've done like 5% damage to it so far. This is insane. I got that pull up thing again. Dude. Tell me these disciples aren't completely broken. We're, he's at 100%. Forget it. I'm done. <laughs> we did this the other day. Over there. What uh, what gun was I using? I don't even remember. Oh, we were testing out the flamethrower. And we had to refill, I think, three full times? This is ridiculous, man. They've completely broken this shit again. Like, it was bad, really bad for a long time, and then they finally fixed it. And now they're right back. Like, the regular Disciples, they're not that bad. You know, they're not completely broken, but obviously, these things are, as HVTs. It was literally at 100%, and I, I can't even tell you, I'm like, how many times did we reload on that? Putting shot after shot into it, like... Dude, fuck off! Now you're bothering me. But because this was an HVT... Like, we're not doing barely any damage to it still. Like, it it, it just keeps... For, forgive my language. It just keeps sucking me. Like, let go. Get off. That's ridiculous, man. Okay, I'm just going to try to lose it by going up to the top of this building here. <clears throat> I find the Mega Bomb in Cold War easier. Well, it's not a Mega Bomb. That's just a Mega Abomination. No, it's just an Abomination. Excuse me, it's not a Mega. Uh, that's why it's easier there. And yes, much, much, much easier on Forsaken. Or Cold War. I mean, um, Outbreak. And, like, it, it's okay that there are different tier levels of, uh, like, how strong the bosses are. Like, the Mimics are the weakest, then the Manglers, then the Disciples, and then the Mega Bombs. Like, that's fine, but... Although now, I mean... I, I don't even know about doing, like, a Mega Bomb HVT. Uh, like, if you, if you use the circuit board turrets, like, those still will wreck the Mega Bombs and the HVT ones. I was doing it yesterday or the day before, whatever. Um... <laughs> they still work just fine. But you saw how long it took just for a regular Mega Bomb with this gun. And this gun's pretty good, man. Like, it's... 
It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Um, and now, like, whatever, dude. They just... <sighs> How many times can I say the same thing? I mean, I think they're, they're ruining their game just day by day. Every time they do an update like this, they just ruin their game. They gotta stop punishing us for, find, you know, figuring things out in the game. Like, they, they don't bother ever fixing the known issues that it has. They're just like, oh, they're doing too well. Let's make things harder. I mean, that's just, it's, again, it's a game. It's supposed to be fun, believe it or not. Challenging, sure. But, you know, ultimately it is supposed to be fun. And uh, I, I just don't think they comprehend that. And, and I mean that in a very literal sense. Like, I don't think they grasp that this game is supposed to be fun and not just torture. It's not supposed to be just pain and difficulty and hard. It can be hard. It can be challenging. But to be torturous is just, I mean, what, what are we doing? Why do I want to spend my free time playing this game? You know, when it's just, it doesn't work. Or really, honestly, what they've calibrated it as... Well, people are always playing in teams of three, at least. So, we'll have to make it so it's hard for three people. It's like, what about the solo players, man? It's something, as a solo player, like, ni literally 99, at least 99% of the time I play, I'm playing solo. Um, and yes, it's because I don't have friends, but there's nothing I can do about that. I just, I suck, and nobody wants to be my friend. So, let me enjoy your game still, please. I'm trying to. I would like to. I bought the game. It didn't say, you know, minimum of three people, three players or four players or whatever. So let me play your game as a solo player. I just... I don't get it, man. I really don't. It's just like they just flat out refuse to listen to their player base. And it's like, well, okay, we are getting 20 stash items, which... I mean, honestly, that's the minimum they could have done. And there is a wallet system coming, but... At one point of the game, we're already five plus months into it. Almost five and a half months into this game. I mean, it's, it's half over. We've hit the half-life of the game. <laughs> and it's still not in yet, by the way. It's like, it's coming. Those things are coming with Season 3 Reloaded. Supposedly, at least, as far as we're aware. Uh, it's coming. But. Okay, so that. Alright, so now we just need 100 kills. So let's just go head to a, um, an exfil site and we'll just do this. Uh, oh, we got one right here. Although this is exactly where the storm is. So, oh, the, the worm boss is going to be right here. Is there? No, there's not. You know what? I don't know that I want to go here. No, key, no, entry. no we're going to do this. It'll give us a uh, chance to, because it's right next to the storm, so we would probably only get like one full round of uh, exfil zombies, and I need to get 100 kills, so I want to get uh, probably two, two shots at this. You know, the, the exfil zombies, like a horde. So let's go over to this one and uh, it'll give us a little bit more time. Although I desperately want to go check to see if my package is here. I don't know what the hell happened. I didn't get the email like, hey, it's here. Um, he was on the property. I was next. I was, you know, whatever. And that was an hour ago. Or 45 minutes at least ago. 50 minutes ago. And... I have no update. And I didn't hear anybody knock, although... Some people are softer knockers than others, you know? Soft... Soft knockers. Have any of you guys ever... Because I saw this the other day. 
Uh, I rewatched it again the other day, I should say. Uh, Young Frankenstein, the Mel Brooks movie. With, um, Gene, um, oh my God. Willy Wonka, the original Willy Wonka. Gene, uh, help me out here, guys. Uh, Gene Wilder. Oh, it's a great movie. If you've never seen Young Frankenstein, you should watch Young Frankenstein. Anyway, there's just a part. Gene Wilder, thank you, Eric. Yes, yes, yes. Um, there's a part at the beginning uh, where they pull up to the, the, the castle, Dr. Frankenstein's castle. And um, Terry Gar is like the love interest. And she's wearing like this low cut kind of a thing. And it's a you know it's a big old castle and to knock on the uh, to, you know to get their attention there's a literal uh, big knocker on the door it's like it makes a boom 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 and Gene Wilder says hey great knockers and Terry Garth oh thank you that just made me think of that <laughs> when I said soft soft knockers because of the Amazon delivery guy anyway that's how my brain works broken I mean that should have been a hundred there alone but we're gonna go one more just to be safe I was. I felt like a lot of zombies, though. Oh wait, you know what? I don't even know if we're getting the wallet system or not. I know we're getting cooldown, like, and you can uh, increase or decrease your cooldown time. And that's going to be by like uh, expelling with a certain amount of cash, I believe, like. I don't know why cash is necessarily a thing rather than overall XP or whatever, because... Uh, whatever, I don't know. Uh, but it seems to be like it's going to be that. <coughs> Excuse me. See, on Amazon site, it's still showing out for delivery. And the guy was here. I mean, he's long gone now, obviously. Changing leg. Take that, Rick. I think we, I'm honestly, I think we probably got the 100 already from last round, but we're definitely going to expo this time. And then we'll need 300 uh, pack a punch kills for a red zircon. And then what's the last, always the last challenge? What's the, the, the green serpentine one? Oh, it's like 10 special kills, something like that? That'll be easy. I always get nervous though when it's like, did you get the 100 kills or not? Because you don't get a damn counter. Just in case, because you never know. Is it true they want to put in PvP and zombies? Yeah, it's going to be a PvPe mode. 
Um, and as far as I'm aware, yes, it's absolutely happening. Uh, but it's not going to be like um, every time you play zombies, you have to deal with that. Whatever. Um, it could be something along the lines of you... Uh, like in, let me go let me go check for the package real quick and then we'll talk about this It is not here, obviously. Um, so there's no way I'm getting it tonight. So either... Well, I don't know why it was scanned and then they said it was on the truck, but whatever. It, it probably didn't get put on the truck. Or... We did get Golden Enigma, so we're good there. Or uh, he left it in the truck. He didn't notice that it was there. I don't know. Oh no, someone screwed up. Like, yeah. You know what the funny thing is? Is like, I just ordered it yesterday. Like, literally last night, it was a true, like, impulse buy kind of a deal. And I was just like, ooh, that looks cool. I think it would be great for the stream. Um, let me order it. If it had just said it'll be there in two days, three days, whatever, I'd have been like, fine, not a big deal. But when you tell me it's coming today, now, in fairness, it said by 10 o'clock. But according to their tracking... I was the next up, and I was like five away, and then four, and then whatever, and then I was next up. And um, it should literally be here, and it's it's not. So that's why it's like, that's what's annoying. Um... Yeah, anyway, so that's what that's what that's what bothers me about that. Like I wouldn't care. But I don't like don't promise me something and then not deliver is the whole point really of it, I guess. <clears throat> Let's put Snoop on. Just cuz he's more fun uh for you guys anyway. Get 50 kills while in tax stance, get 100 kills with battle rifles. Okay, we'll do the tax stance thing right now, but <coughs> Excuse me, dude. I, I, this is like the lingering effects of that cold still, by the way. Like, I really have not shaken it completely. Obviously, it was more than just a cold. I should have gotten some kind of uh, antibiotics for it, and I didn't. But at this point, it's kind of like, well, like, I, I don't even feel sick. I just have this cough that pops up from time to time. I mean, I kind of want to put that on just because dogs... By the way, if you can't see that, those are dogs. Those worm-looking things, those are dogs. But I won't. I, I kind of like that purple one that we have on. All right. So we need um, 300 kills while it's pack-a-punch. We can do that super quick. And then 10 specials after we complete the 300 kills. So uh, let's try to bang this all out and be done with uh, this gun as far as the upgrades go. But... What did you guys think of, like, how we used it? Like, did you think it looked good? Did you think it was like, oh, that's kind of disappointing for the level of, you know, um, like, what what are we supposed to use that's great now? You know what I mean? I kind of want to use the stingers again. but I mean, we're going to do this right now, but I really kind of want to use check out the stingers. Uh, my only thing is... Okay, so I still have a half a day for that stuff to cool down. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that right now. All right, let's just load in. Uh, 
uh, 300 kills and then the 10. Okay. So when we see the red Zircon thing pop up, it's 10. Like, let's just go do escort contracts after escort contract. Like, let's try to do it quickly. We're going to do um, escorts probably right off the bat as well because you get a ton of kills uh, super quick with that. So that'll be our three, like two escort contracts is 300 kills pretty much done. Uh, and also you can get tons of manglers depending. So hopefully we can do that. Um, I don't know, man. Like, it, the gun is good on everything except for it was not good on Mega Abominations. Although, I don't know what is good on a Mega Abomination anymore. And that includes score streaks. Don't know. Other than, like, the, um, the circuit board turrets. Other than that, I don't know what is good on a Mega Bomb. Um, the HVT... Disciples are flat out broken again. I don't even think that's a gun issue. That was terrible. They're just broken again. They had it in a good place. I don't know why they changed it. This is what I'm saying. Like, they're doing things to make the game a little bit. Uh, well, not even a little bit. Ow, something just flew right in my eye. It, with, it, in that example, like a lot harder. Now, imagine an HVT Mega Bomb, by the way. So, you saw how long it took with a regular Mega Bomb? Imagine that was an HVT Mega Bomb with just Triple Pap Legendary. Like, it took us a long time to get that kill. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put. Uh, let's just we'll start with this. I kind of want to use that Scorcher just to get around, but then I I brought in this. I forgot I had the RGL. We should Retro definitely dump this RDL. Tighter than a what? Okay, I see an escort on the top left. So let's go do that. Jeez, look at these spawns. It's a little nutty, man. Right, is there a car right here? No. I hope they don't go for it. Vehicle mark. Vehicle mark. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like they are. Okay. <clears throat> are you guys the same way? Like, if you promise me, like, it's going to be here at a certain time or whatever, like, then be here. If you say if you literally if they just told me it was going to be tomorrow or the next day, right off the bat, like I wouldn't even think about it. Like it's, that's just when it's coming. But when you're when you're like, hey, it's going to be here next day, this time, whatever. Like okay, now I'm going to hold you to it. So that kind of, eh. I mean, it's not a big deal, but. Should we try to do this HP2 real quick? There's no point though, right? Like, I don't need the money. No. There's no point. We can do it at the end if it's still here. And it probably will because I don't know why anybody would come over to this corner of the map. Did you guys watch the uh, the college championship last night? I want to Purdue, man. I kind of didn't really care, and I honestly, I still really don't care to be honest because I don't really watch. I don't watch unless it's the the tournament. <clears throat> um, but the UConn coach is is Bobby Hurley, right? He used to play for Duke.
Just go away. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them there. They can sit there. <laughs> Fuck them, I don't care. I mean, like, go get your own goddamn contract. What? what? I'd rather just let that sit there and let the uh, zombies, like, attack that and kill it. What, what is that impulse? There's three of you in Tier 2 with double path weapons. Like, what are you doing? I mean, in Tier 1. Just so they don't get the kills. Like, that's the only reason why... Where is this uh, ATV? Like, just go do your own shit. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I am definitely the type of... Like, I could have got plenty of kills doing that. But, like, I am definitely the kind of person... Like, I would cut off my own nose to spite my face. Just so you can't do whatever it is what you were trying to do. Like... You have no real reason. Let's let's head down this way. We'll do this HVT along the way, and then hopefully there'll be an escort that pops up at that hotel. Um, but I would definitely like. I'll be spiteful as shit. I'll ruin my own game. I don't care. Unbelievable. It's like those people that stand. You know, when you're trying to do a, a cargo contract, and they're gonna stand inside the uh, the garage just waiting for you to like open the door. Or, you know. And I was going to take the vehicle, like... Oh, we should have got speed. It's uh, my bad. Too remote over here. Need more things. Just gonna tuck that in for now. Did I, did I actually pick that up. I did. Okay. Just in case we go back to tier three and have a little bit of an issue. Like, as you saw last time, it wasn't that big of a deal. But we had on golden armor, which is, I mean, when you literally don't have to carry extra armor because it's just going to regenerate, you save yourself. I mean, it's still the best item in the game, definitely. <clears throat> I really don't even think it's that close. Scorcher, I still have as number two. Although... Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. What did he get taken down by? Dude, how did you die here? Did you just stop playing? Double papped gun? I don't know, that was weird. I don't know how that person got killed there. Uh, we do not have the contract here. Golly. Okay, we do have one up here, though. Marking contract. Oh, we're going to run out of gas. Man. Come on. Come on, we can make it. By the way, just from watching the DMZ stuff that I've been watching lately, you know, um, you actually burn through fuel in your vehicles in this game way faster than even in DMZ. Like, again, a PVE mode. Um, and speaking of, uh, who was asking about the PVP stuff? 
uh, Joe. So yeah, there is. It's going to be a PvPVE. So player, it's just like DMZ, where you would have uh, player against player and also AI. In our case, the AI is uh, zombies. Uh, but it's going to basically be the exact same type of deal. I don't think it's. Uh, and from what I understand, it's going to be separate. Like it's not just going to be zombies is now PvPVE, rather than just PVE if you want it. You know, you're going to have the option to choose. I've heard um, two different ways they might go about doing this. One is like, you know, we're, how we have the dark ether rifts. Um, so you could like travel to the PvP and PvPVE mode. Or you just basically stay on this map. I think, or they're going to be like what you load into, kind of like think of Warzone, how you either load into um, the regular Urzikstan map or you load into. Uh, Rebirth or Vondal or you know whatever like there's a, a, a few different maps that you could load into which is I think makes more sense to me and it'll probably be how it goes but either way I swear to god I saw a piece of meat that I could pass. or is it just the nope there it is <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I don't know how it's going to play. I mean, the thing with uh, with DMZ, why, why that worked, is one, <clears throat> I mean, it's just kind of, sounds stupid to say it, but it's like, that's just kind of the mode. I mean, Zombies is a PvE experience. For the most part, there's been grief and um, blood rush, a couple of little things uh, 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 along the way, but I mean, 99.9999% of what we're talking about with uh, zombies has always been you against the map, <clears throat> not you against the other players. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> uh, but the big thing why it works for DMZ and why I'm not sure it's going to work at all for zombies, I mean, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I kind of have to, you know, zombies consecrated. I would try it anyway, but um, with DMZ, there were contracts on the map like that we have here, like I'm doing right now, but they weren't really the main draw. Like you had missions to do, and that was the main draw of when you were on the map. You really don't do a ton of contracts in DMZ. Uh, you do occasional ones, but usually because it's part of a mission, to be honest with you. Um, or you just needed uh, uh, some extra money. You know, when you're a newer player, you do the contracts to get the cash. Because DMZ had a wallet system, you could carry money over from game to game. A certain amount, not all of it. But I, um, I forget who was saying it here, but some, one of you guys told me it was like up to a million. I thought it was like 250,000 or 300,000, something like that, but uh, one of you guys told me it was a million. I don't remember who it was, sorry. Um, <clears throat> so you didn't really need to do contracts once you had gotten a certain amount of cash. It's basically like a waste of time. Uh, so we'll, I don't know, man, we'll see. What do you, you guys tell me what you think about like, you know, how does it sound to you? Um, it's like a troller's dream come true, which is not my thing at all. So, I don't know. We'll see. It could be fun. I mean, it's, it's a little bit... It always kind of feels like when you have something... Basically, it's the same thing already. Like, what's the point? It's like you've got Warzone. Like, what's why? If you wanted to play PvP why, on this on this map, why don't you just go play Warzone? But that's not exactly you know the the right way to look at it. I don't think probably. Um, and you could be like, well, okay, well then why play? <clears throat> 
why play uh, DMZ instead of why not, why not just go play Warzone? And to a degree, like, yeah, okay. But it's more of the extraction shooter. It's the missions part of it. Um, and I'll be honest with you. I think a lot of people that played uh, DMZ were like Warzone wannabes in a way. Like, they're not quite good enough to really like dominate in Warzone, but in... <clears throat> In DMZ, uh, they could do really well. People are basically distracted by trying to do um, other missions, like, you know, not necessarily contracts, but like they're trying to do some other things. So it's not, it's not, I mean, that's definitely not, uh, a one, not even close to 100% being true. It's just some of it is, though, for sure. <laughs> I would include myself, by the way, in that. Like, I'm good enough at Warzone that I could get, like, wins occasionally, but I'm not good enough, like, the people that you see the extreme Warzone... I have... By the way, this is back when I did play Warzone, which is two or three years ago. I mean, I was playing the original. So, God, Modern Warfare, four years ago? Um, and I didn't really touch too much of it after that. Like, Cold War, I played a little bit, and that was kind of it. So, um, but I, I would, like, never be good enough to be a... Warzone streamer. I'm just like, I'm just not that good at it. Never was. I'm not gonna be. Um, I mean, they're literal pros. You know, Call of Duty pros that moved over to doing that. Like, ha most of them uh, retired from Call of Duty. Re like, retired at 22 years old or whatever because I'm too old now <laughs> or something. But, like, people that are way better than me. So, it's like, it'd be, it's just a super grind, especially solo. Like, it's just a super grind nonstop and I just, I don't have the patience for that shit anymore. I hope it's a different mode. I don't want to sweat. It's not going to, like, you. if you don't want to play PvP, you're not going to have to, uh, in zombies, you're not going to have to do it. Like, period. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, like, if you don't want to do it, you just don't do it. <clears throat> it's definitely going to be, uh, well, I shouldn't say definitely anything because it's not out yet. And you never know. And, again, with this year, I mean, the way they've done Basically everything since Treyarch stopped, like again, what the game was released with those first three acts was really good, man. I loved this game at that point in time, and uh, it's just I, I haven't really agreed with any of like they nerf things too much. Like again, the purifier needed to be nerfed. Like you could kill HBT and Mega Abomination solo in. I mean, literally, what, 10 seconds? <clears throat> so, like, it, it could definitely be nerfed. Like, no problem with that. But that it's literally useless now, except for on regular zombies? Like, no. Nah. The, the Juggernaut score streak, $10,000 score streak, is completely useless against Mega Bombs? No. It's like, you, maybe you guys should have programmed your game a little bit differently rather than punishing us for kind of... You know, using what you are, have to offer. Maybe you should have thought about what, you know, like, oh, you have all these things. Well, we're going to use them, right? Like, that's kind of the point. I don't know. Where is the nearest dog house around here? I want to go get a dog. I don't, it doesn't even mean they're... There will be the Mitchell. What's going on? They nerfed the jug suit. They nerfed it against the Mega Abomination. At least I don't know if they nerfed it in general, but uh, we tried it the other day. It was on stream, right? And uh, it literally it didn't do anything. You know, they nerfed it against the the Red Worm, or you know, the worms that generate worm bosses. So it doesn't do anything against them and now with the mega bombs and again i really do think it's just that um i really think it's just that they're like hey this was supposed to be our big bad guy and they're kind of making a joke out of it like how easy it is to beat now and i think they didn't like that and i think they were like well screw it it's going to be super hard to kill now uh, i just had my birthday dinner with my mom hey happy birthday man congratulations what Oh, nice uh, what'd you go for dinner? Like, not the actual restaurant, but what, what'd you go have? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, 
but I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, uh, escort would be nice. And a doghouse would be nice as well. Grilled chi grilled chicken. Go get a steak. Mm. I haven't gone out for a steak in a while. I haven't been out to a while. Jeez. I, honestly, I'm <laughs> now, now that I'm saying that, uh, I don't know what I've gone out to eat for a while. I'm genuinely thinking about it, and I can't remember. I legit cannot remember. Where's this contract? Sorry, those look like... It's not. It looked like gold folders, though. I was trying to... I don't want to look at that. Alright, forget the wrench, man. Steaks tomorrow? Oh, you dirty bitch. The last time I was at a steakhouse, I went with my brother. <clears throat> I think it was Morton's in Boston. Had uh, a New York with... Um, with shrimp, three big old shrimp right on top of it. Like, oh, <laughs> honestly, it was it was way too much. Like, oh my god, I can't even finish this. Uh, dinner, steak dinner with dad tomorrow. There you go. Texas Roadhouse. Why are you throwing shit at me, man? Dude, well, happy birthday, seriously. Good for you. Did you get any good presents? I mean, the dinner's the present, right? Oh, there's the Zircon. Okay, actually, that was perfect timing. Now, we need 10 special kills. That was one. All right, let's, um... Dude, where's the contracts? Dude, where are the contracts? Do they even look in this? Okay, let's just go do this because it's close. There's nothing else anywhere nearby. And it'll be uh, another one. You're 27 now? Yeah, dinner was the present. Yeah, exactly. Happy birthday, man. That's awesome. Congratulations. Making it another year. It's kind of weird, like, congratulate. You know. Hey, you're still alive. <laughs> Good job. But that's great, man. Good for you. Happy birthday. Is today your actual birthday? Or was it like over the weekend or? My brothers and my birthdays, by the way, they're literally a day apart. So like when we were kids, it was always like we would alternate or like birthday would be on either mine or his day or whatever. Um, or like if it was in the middle of the week, like maybe we'd, we'd celebrate it on the weekend. So it wasn't, but we never had like two parties. You know what I mean? Okay, tonight is your birthday. Like, so midnight tonight is your birthday. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. <clears throat> TPT, what's going on? How are you? The 10th, yeah. Okay. Actually, you know something? Today is my father's birthday. He's no longer with us, but today would have been his birthday. I'm not trying to break the mood down, just it's just it just struck me like yep, yeah, actually. I was thinking about that earlier today. Uh you know something? Let's go. Let's go get triple cap just because we can. I always like to do it if you can. So let's do it. We got the cash money. We really just need to get, well, eight more kills now, right? For uh, specials, special kills. Um, so unless we see along the way. Okay, it's right at the main building. Uh, you look like a veteran zombie spider trying to fight noobs to help. <laughs> you thought I was streaming zombies and you're like, oh, let me go help this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm doing all right. I appreciate the help, though. 
Um, oops. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's do this on along the way. I can't help, man. I can't help but like do the contract on my way. Plus, we need to upgrade uh, Snoop. We're, he's over a hundred containment, but we want, again we want over two hundred. Look at this trail of zombies. We really need speed cola, man. Reload, please. <clears throat> You're on the Borealis grind. 21 guns left. Well, oh, for just for Serpentine, so that's not bad, actually. That won't take you very long. 210 specials. Uh, honestly, though, like, if you just do um, escort contracts, that's all it takes, man. Escort contract after escort contract. You get so many manglers, you know, just again and again and again. It honestly doesn't take nearly as long as you think it might. Although, at a certain point, it's going to be like, oh, my God, this it just won't stop. The grind, but, like, you get there fast enough. I'm still, man, like, I don't know, like, I got, when I got Borealis, I'm like, all right, cool, and then very quickly, I'm like, I actually don't really like this camo very much. I mean, in fairness, it's really not, the only, it's like, it's not hard to get Borealis camo, it's just literally, like, it's just taking the time to do it. Um, other than that, I mean, it's zombies, right? Like, it's, it's not, it's not like multiplayer where you have to... Like sniping is an actual real challenge. Uh, to use a sniper in in zombies, it sucks. It's boring using that cat that we were talking about earlier. Oh my god, I hated that. But it's one gun. The zombies are always going to line up for you. Like it's not. It's not like get a hundred headshots in multiplayer. Like let's just be honest. So that the multiplayer camo is better. Like yeah, it, honestly, it kind of makes sense. But Borealis to me though, like now it's just like, ugh, I just, I don't like it. It's so, I just, I just I'm not digging it, man. I kind of want to try. Okay, we need, where is, uh, you know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I uh, 45 minutes health, but I'm at 3. I'm at 75 minutes. I'm at 15 minutes. Yeah, you could always do that. The tier 2 x is a good way to do it as well, of course. I was doing two guns a game. Yeah, that's what I was doing, man. I would just load up <laughs> both of them. Both of my slots I would have filled. And you could easily, easily do both guns in, in one game, definitely. That's the way to go, man. It just takes too long otherwise, but yeah. Me there. I don't like you. Might want to move at the speed of heat, ground pounders. I got eyes on a terminus convoy hauling serious ass towards that anomaly. Okay. I am on site. Fletcher is with that convoy. I have a pair of ACVs. Let's get inside here. Is there a. There is not a mega bomb out front. Do I even want to do anything here while we're here? I mean, we're not definitely not doing a tier three escort. I mean, we just tried all this stuff last game, and we're down to a, a purple rarity. Like, eh. what's the point? All right, let's head. Um, let's back over here. We'll do actually the. Ooh, you know what? Let's try this. Just real quick. Okay, we, we actually killed him. So, like for the regular specials in Tier 3, this gun is not bad. They, 
excuse me, they just buffed the hell out of the HVTs in Tier 3. Like, it doesn't make sense. Especially the Disciples. That They're just flat broken again. Oh, there's that. I don't, I don't know what that is, and I don't like it. That delay of pulling your gun up to sprint out of it, and... I haven't noticed it with any other weapons, but again, in fairness, since Season 3, I've pretty much been using, like... Well, I use the, um... LMG, but, like, for SMG-type guns, I've been using the Stingers, which is a pistol. But then I've been a Kimbo, so, like, you don't... They're always, you know, hip-fire. Listen up. Terminus has resorted to using smaller weapon runs. They just made themselves right for the picking. Let's get that door open sharpish. That LTV ain't gonna see itself. Come on. Popping a fresh mag. Popping a fresh mag. Alright, let's turn this baby around. Uh, let's do get this grind though. Yeah, man, that's the always that can be the issue. It's like, oh I did it! And then you're so excited to get it, you want to put it on all your guns, and then you're like but I've done everything in the game. Like, what's there to do? That's always an issue, man. It always hits. Especially this time of year. You know, it's like... I, at least for... When it's round-based, when you've got the... To me, because, like, doing the Easter eggs is always my thing. I love doing the Easter eggs. Um, I kind of like that there's a set finish to it. Like, you hop onto a map. you got to do step one to... You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then all the way to... You completed the Easter egg. So something like this where it's kind of open world and open like choice really what you want to do and you can do this the stuff again but it's not really like you're not really doing Easter eggs in this game you're just like you go into whatever like the end of Act 3 whatever that mission was called like to, to beat the worm it's like okay you do the the red worm at the end but like the red worm is not a fun thing to do um I mean, I definitely wouldn't call it a fun thing to do. <laughs> Especially without, well, whatever. I, I don't want to keep saying how they ruin things, but they kind of have. But yeah, it's just then you got to find what you know what you're doing it for. Uh, no disciple should be stronger than Stormcaller. Uh, right before you got, well, I don't know about right before Mitchell, but before you got here. I think, anyway, unless you were just watching and not uh, chatting. But we got an HVT Disciple in Tier 3. We had a Legendary Tool, and this was Triple Pap. This is the gun that we're using, the FJX Horus. Because, uh, you know, we're testing it out. And, um... I don't know, I went through five clips of ammo? Something like that? So, like, about 450 rounds. And I had gotten them down to maybe 95%, like he had lost 5% health, and then he just gained it back, like, instantly. So, I just decided to give up. Like, I'm not going to do this all day. There's no point. And then, if you guys were here, you know, the other day, or the other week now at this point, I don't even remember, um, with, when I was testing out the flamethrower, the Jack Purifier, I w it took us forever there as well. See, the only problem when you get the meat is like if you don't have the zombies, uh, the the doghouse spawns. It's like now you've got meat taking up slots in your in your backpack. See, like this is a regular one, tier two. Vaporized, like great. That the gun is great as far as that goes, right? And even in tier three, um, like the I wouldn't say like a regular disciple is necessarily easy, but we we beat a couple of those as well. It's just the HVT. It's absurd. Like it's it's so broken. Like it literally, it's broken. Like there's no way that can be intended to you know uh, for them to have that much health and for them to regain health that quickly like it it doesn't work 
it was it was something that wasn't broken that they changed. Like uh, I have no idea why. Like what was the point of that? I don't get it. And again, I think just with the um, uh, excuse me. Could you imagine? I dropped mags of holding to pick up some tape that you literally can't even use in this game. Thank you, DMZ. Like, make it. They didn't even make. Okay, now I'm gonna get real. Which I don't want to do. So I'm not gonna. No, I'm just, we're just gonna kick back. Doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got this is a tier two HVT disciple, triple papped, uh, epic tool. And we'll see how long it takes. The storm color is annoying sometimes. Very annoying. I haven't. I only did it once or twice back in the beginning. Of whatever is one of the Act One missions, right? Or yeah, I mean it was definitely Act One. Or no. See, well, preseason. I, I don't mean act. I don't remember which act it was in, but it was like the preseason, like the, you know, when the game came out, it was one of the missions that was there. Like that makes sense. That that level, that that speed of killing it, that makes sense with what we have on our gun. Like, okay. <clears throat> Back on Pokemon grind <laughs> with the kiddos. Uh, it's only uses to sell. Act three. Is, is it Act Three? All right, Eric. Have a good night, man. Enjoy your dinner. This doghouse? This, there can be one right over here at this power grid thing, right? Didn't spawn in though. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's keep doing HVTs. Marking contract. Yikes. God, I should do. Oh uh, man, I should have done. Another cargo because I didn't realize my car was virtually out of gas. By the way, this is another thing why I think there should be um, e ether tools should be, be be like purchasables in some form of currency within the game. Actual cash would be fine by me. I don't think that's a problem, but whatever. Um, because you can bang out a, a, a ton of contract when you completed these missions. And then it's kind of like, well, okay, well, why am I still staying on the map? Like, what am I doing? If I've, I've got to the point where I'm not upgrading anything anymore. I bought all my perks that I want. I got, you know, like, I'm triple papped or whatever. Like, why am I still on the map? Oh, I mean, why do I even load into the game, period? But, you know, like, if you just want to do some contracts, like, okay, cool. <clears throat> I mean, I think they should be, because they're extremely important, like, you should be able to buy them. You should be able to, there should be a way for you to guarantee yourself whichever level of ether tool that you want. It, you know, it, it could be hard to get, or, uh, you know, whatever, I don't know. Uh, it could be a salvage kind of thing, like in Cold War, it could be just straight up points. It could be whatever, but um, there should be. Did somebody just snatch that? Dude, I just I drove all the way over here. Golly. Marking contract. No. Marking contract. But again, it's, uh, to me, it should be like it, this. Should uh, this game should always have been at least you know with the first season or preseason? You know when the game launched, 
that they had the um, the missions and everything very story specific. Like that totally that makes sense. It gets you into the game, gets you into the flow of everything, uh, gets you caught up in the story, gets you invested in the story. Like what we're actually doing here, like that makes perfect sense. But I've been saying forever that they should have added just way more, like just kind of. Um, not even it has nothing to do with the story, just kind of you know, collectathon type stuff. Uh, for missions. Like to craft that wallet, to build out your stash, to uh, I don't know, be able to uh, like you know, in um DMZ they have the different kinds of vests that you can make. Like a medical vest, you could have a uh, uh a comms vest or like I mean, I don't know the equivalent would be necessarily like a medical vest would actually make sense in this game comms vest wouldn't right We don't need to hear what other teams are saying. We have proximity chat which I serves the same purpose um, I need to just drop these meats man like uh, I don't think we're gonna find a, a doghouse There's only five minutes left anyway Actually, you know what we might want to do? Like, jeez. I did not mark the helicopter. I marked the exfil. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, let's just get out. <laughs> Fuck it. it. It's beached. It's fine. Stay there. Uh, let's go to this expo site and look at our last few um, specials that we need. Marking extraction zone. Oh, I didn't see that ammo pile. I'm like, is that underground? Is there something below me here? Like, I didn't. I think there was a tunnel that ran there. And there's not. Kind of a shame. I wish there were some more secret places, like, in this map. Something to make it feel more like zombies. Like some extra tunnels or those bunkers, like... Being able to open them up or do something in there, you know what I mean? We need five. It's possible we need six. Did something just. I really do wish I had speed cola for this, though. I mean, it's not going to be that big a deal, but I still wish I had it. Faster, we wouldn't be getting hit like this. Okay, there we go. Easy. 
Okay, that's Borealis for that too. We're gonna check one more time with this Amazon shit. You know what's gonna be funny too? Is I guarantee you they're gonna be like, we tried to deliver it, but apparently you were at home. Like, no. No, 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 no. That's a lie. That's absolutely a lie. Okay, so. <clears throat> I mean, what did we learn? The gun's good. It, it's not amazing. Like, you're not... Oh, I forgot. Stupid. I forgot we had... I meant to pop uh, double battle XP before the during the stream. Just because double XP event was over this weekend, so I haven't been hitting that. I'm like, oh, okay. I forgot about it, though. Um, like, it's a good gun. Why? Did, by the way, why does your camo not show up there? Like, it's supposed to, right? So we have Borealis now. Yay. Pop that on. <laughs> but that's, it works for other guns, doesn't it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. So it's good. It's not amazing. I mean, that's, that's the lesson for today, I suppose. We're going to craft that for sure because we want to do that every time we possibly can uh, might as well make another one of those <clears throat> we only have one dog bone okay And then the flawless and all that kind of stuff too. Oh, I don't have any ether blades right now. I just have the two armors. It doesn't, I mean, it's still, I mean, not quite a month now, but nearly a month until we're getting stuff. And we're gonna go back into the dark ether. Hey, surprise, surprise. Um. As far as the gun goes, though, like, you know, it, 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 it's, it's good. I don't have any complaints about it. I tell you what, let's do... We're going to put the stinger on. And we're going to go into tier 3. And we're going to see how the stingers do. So, if you just in case you don't know, this, this, this is a pistol. Um, we've got a dual wield, but it's basically like a mini SMG. So, we might as well give it a shot. I forgot to do the text and stuff. Oh, and we're going to be dual wield, so there's no way I can do it with this. Um, <clears throat> Again, what is, the, what, is the, what is the best gun in zombies right now? I don't know. I really don't. There's nothing that's... I, I think you could even remotely... Oh, I would like to try the, the Lockwood again. It's been a while since we've played with that. I don't think it's... I don't think they've changed anything. I mean, it was good. It's probably still good. I mean, I think that's the thing. It's like there's no, like, amazing guns right now. Um, and to me, you know, with zombies, like... This is not PvP. It's different values altogether. It's we're looking for different things out of the gameplay. So being OP would be fine. Like, what's the problem? I mean, you don't have to be super OP. Again, the purifier freely acknowledged that needed a nerf. They just didn't. They just ruined it. I mean, they made it so it's useless basically. It's good for crowd control on the zombies, but. You're probably not going to use an AR, and that's pretty much the only thing that... I mean, you could use, like, a, 
Um, a marksman or something, I guess, but I don't know. Probably the meta of Warzone, I guess. Yeah, but, like, they have different values for multiplayer versus... Um, versus zombies. Like, it's not doing the same exact thing. Or maybe it is. I don't know. If that's the case, then... What are they doing? They should know better. And they should change that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we definitely need to go with these dual wheels. We're definitely going to have to go get Speed Cola. Um, yeah, these guns are good, man. I don't want to spend a ton of time out here messing around with it because I know it's good. We're going to go ahead and pop that on, and we're going to double pap right off the rip here. Um, it might be a little bit of a waste to do this, but it's okay. I do. I just kind of want to try them out in uh, Tier 3. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go get our, ourselves a vehicle. Uh, yep. And then... I think we're just going to go right up to get Speed Cola right off the bat so nobody else takes it away from us. Then we'll have Speed Cola and then... Uh, we can we can hop into Tier 2 and start doing some Tier 2 contracts and get good points, uh, you know, good money quick. And then get ourselves triple papped. ASAP and then head into tier three and uh, just try it out on some um, some bosses in there and then we'll probably do uh, an HBT contractor too just to kind of see how it does. Although I don't know, man. I'm just not really expecting much. Like they they really I think they've rebalanced everything like nothing is OP at all because uh, they're expecting it to always be a team of three or more and you know I mean it's just not true like you look on the map you, your mini map as you're playing you see ones and twos all over the place but I really think they've just configured it and kind of um, gauged it for purely like squads of three. And the the HBT disciple, I think, is just broken. I I genuinely think like it's not meant to be that way. And I've been talking about this for a while now. I don't believe it, they actually play this game. The developers, um, if when they do, it if they do ever, it's really just to test something out real quick, and then they're done. They don't. I don't think they actually play the game on an even remotely regular basis. And I mean, like, not once a week, not once every couple of weeks. Like, I just don't think that they do. And when they do, they probably hop in with, "Hey, you know, Fred and, and uh, Samantha, you let's hop on and play." Uh, but they don't ever do anything solo, and I don't think they know what it's like. I popped all four tires on my vehicle the other day. I was kind of proud of myself <laughs> for doing the jump because I think it just means like I landed completely flat. I was like, hey, it's not bad. I popped all four. But look at this, man. Double papped, legendary tool. These things wreck. This is, these are pistols. Like, this is good. Okay, uh, let's go do an HVT. Marking contract. Dude, I'm telling you, watching those uh, uh, DMZ streams lately, just, like, you know, just for my own, that's, that's what I watch these days is YouTube stuff. It's really, I watch so few movies. Oh, I hit, I kind of don't even want to bring it up. It, I was so disappointed. I, I told you guys initially I wanted to watch that movie, the horror movie Thanksgiving, uh, back in November when it was coming out. Uh, well, I watched it. 
a couple of days ago. I watched it. I mean, it's on Netflix. If you have Netflix, you can just put it on. You don't have to, you know, pay for it or anything. Because you're already paying for it if you get Netflix. But uh, you guys, let me know what you think. Dude. Reload! Okay, can you guys get your uh, quotes caught up, please? Looks like you got your pound of flesh. And then some. What else was in there? Did I actually want something? Like oh. You know what? We're going to take this and we're going to pop it. Uh, we'll, we'll replace that. Because we're going to go into tier 3 and you just never know these days. Okay, let's go do this. And then we'll do the um, the cargo. And then I think uh, we should have 15 grand and we can get into tier 3. Why am I running out of gas so fast on all my vehicles? Like, did they, honestly, did they nerf that part of the game, too? It feels like I'm running out of gas, like, really quickly. Well, no, I did. Yeah. I just moonwalked over that chair. I mean, this table. Did you see that? Oh god, get out. They might have actually nerfed the friggin... Uh... The vehicles in this game. They really might have. I, I, I don't know what it is with Sledgehammer, man. Just punish, 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 punish. I mean, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Okay. Let's go get, uh... Volatile. Feel, <coughs> feel like shit and just woke up. You got a cold? Or you just feel like shit because you slept too much, or... You definitely were not first today, by the way. <laughs> nah, it's just too hot. I forgot to take the blanket off of me. Ah. Uh... Yeah, dude, it's 80 degrees here today. Freaking nice. I got all the windows open. Went for a walk this afternoon. Got my workout in. I was like, all right, I'm going to go for a walk. Sun shining, feeling warm. It was good. I was I kind of hoping that, you know, because we had it leaked that, um, well, it it didn't leak that the stash thing was coming. Like, they, they I think they announced that, didn't they? Like, as part of the roadmap kind of a thing. I think, anyway. But what leaked was the, the cooldown timer uh, when you exfil. Um, and again, we knew that that was coming, but it, it's actually on your screen. And that leaked out, and they're like, hey, you know, that's a real thing. Yes, it's not a rumor, but um, I can't remember what's rumor and what's, like, official anymore, to be honest with you, for the most part. But they were like, no, 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 that's a, that's a real thing that we're doing. Um, 
but it's not it's not actually working right now so you see like when you exfil it'll say oh you took an hour and three minutes off of your cooldown timer like you didn't actually do that um it will be like that but it's not yet and i thought they might actually go ahead and just go ahead and release it since it's already everybody's completely aware of it it's on your screen you can see it and the whole thing with the the stash size going to 20 like i thought they might just go ahead and give us something because obviously we've had nothing for a while and um we're not getting anything again until season three reloaded i just thought they might actually go ahead and and put it in play for us but nope not yet anyway did you guys see uh glitching queen's video on um the interview she did with an old uh developer I, I don't mean old like he's old i just mean he used to work for call of duty and they had been working on a standalone zombies game and all that kind of stuff and like treyarch it was around bo2 time was uh gonna ditch it because it was basically like a, a kind of an expensive proposition i guess like you know created the time it takes and the amount of uh people the employees it takes to you know write and create this these worlds and doing all that kind of stuff and uh wait a second i'm gonna go grab stam where is this machine since we're going into tier three Got enough to still triple pap, so. But it was going to be a game that was updated. It was going to be like a live service game that was updated um, consistently. You know, uh, throughout the game year and then uh, over the years as well. You weren't going to have to buy like a brand new sixty dollars game every year. You weren't going to have to buy a, a you know a, a, like a Call of Duty game just to play zombies. You're going to be able to just buy your game and then i think it's probably you know especially from at the time it was probably going to be you pay for the dlc but i mean honestly i would I'd have been fine with that i mean you can't complain about what we got after that which was bo3 zombies i mean it's the best zombies ever but you know with where things are now it's just kind of i don't know man it just like Treyarch had this mode and then it was like, okay, hi Moon, and you you guys are taking over now and then but we're also gonna, you know cut your staff in half and that now nobody wants it and I don't know, like that's just the whole thing. It's just it's kind of depressing as a Whoa. Oh. Something pushed me up. Yeah, anyway, it's just kind of depressing, like, how we just never, we're never front of mind. It's always like, well, oh, shit, yeah, like, oh, yeah, those guys. I don't know. The Stingers are doing pretty good. Now I would like to compare these to like the um, the swarms and see how they stack up. Probably should have brought both in at the same time, but but we didn't do that. So what does it matter now? Okay, actually, this would be a good test. Oh, <laughs> well. I mean, we turned them right away, so it's not actually a good test. All right, let's go find an HVT contract if we can get out of here. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, the zombies never stop spawning. Like, you can't get out of the area. Marking contract. It's like you're trying to clear a zone, but it's never, like... Cleared, cleared. They just keep coming. They just start respawning. 
Let's see what we get. If it's a disciple, we're just gonna cancel it. There's no point. If it's a mega bomb, we're gonna shit our pants. Dude. Please don't chase me across the whole goddamn map. Okay, that's good. Reload, go ahead. I think really what we're learning here is how important brain rot is. Love it if that was a nuke, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, see, like, we're, we're just never going to be able to kind of clear it out and have a minute. Which is annoying even when you're in a squad, but at least you could have, you know, like, you, the people you're with, like, watch over whatever it is for a minute. When you're solo, man, it's like, see? Just look up and, hep, there's more coming. All right, so we got a disciple, actually, so we're just going to cancel that. And we got a mega bomb here, and if I get hit by his laser, we're fucked. So we're getting out. I mean, the stingers might be it, man. Stingers could be it. I mean, again, it's not like they're like, wow, this is so incredible how well they're doing. Like, But they're doing well. I really would like to compare these versus the uh, the swarms. Um, I don't have any circuits, do I? No, I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure I don't. You're telling me that zombie that came up that ladder swung like that and actually hit me from that far away? I don't think so. That sounds like some bullshit. Okay. Yeah, because we got to... All right, let's try to take this guy out. Do I have an extra? I do. We're really gonna have to try to use cover here. But he is motoring, man. Jeepers, creepers. Dude, can you slow down? Friggin' Usain Bolt. And a charge. Okay, this is bad. Like, it, it does too much damage. I don't have the amount of plates that I need to really do this, so please drop some. That would be great, thank you. Okay, we're gonna have to keep our plates full, because if he gets, you know, starts lasering me again, like, we just can't withstand that attack with him being slow slowing us down as badly as it does and then with other zombies around oh that was pretty dead on i don't know get in there get in there there we go 
I mean, so far, these pistols are better than the other stuff we've used. Kind of remarkable. All right, dude. You happy? I paid attention to you. And now you're dead. Okay, um. Can I drop? Oh, okay. I just kind of want to, uh. Show you guys. And now maybe, maybe something was up the other day. Where it wasn't working for whatever reason, but we're gonna use this juggernaut. Um, I, uh, that's why I had the extra slot, dude. I really just wish we had some friggin' extra slots. Is it that big a deal? <laughs> I mean, screw it. Is there armor on the ground over here? I'll drop an ether tool. The blue ones, like, I don't care. Alright, uh, whatever. Let's go find, um... We'll start another... That's what I get for trying to talk during this. Where's another contract? There are no HVT contracts right now. Come on. Okay, you know what we're going to do? So it happened the other day. We used a Juggernaut suit on um, an HVT um, Mega Bomb. And it literally did nothing. So I'm very much assuming that's exact... Oh, we need, we need bullets. Um, I'm assuming this is... A, yeah, it should be there. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm assuming that's just how it's intended now because they've done stuff like that in the past. Uh, same with the red worm. Like, the... Um, the Juggernaut suit just doesn't work anymore. It literally doesn't work. And we used it the other day. And like I said, it. I mean, I was standing right in front of it and laying into the mega bomb and nothing happened it did not affect his health at all so let's head back to the front gate where there was a mega bomb earlier we'll chuck down we will chuck down this juggernaut and uh we'll try to take him out with it and see what happens see if it literally does anything because it might just be the HVTs, because with Season 3, a lot of the stuff, like, the Disciples especially, like, they're complete, the HVTs are completely broken. Again. But the regular ones are normal. Seems to be, anyway. Maybe maybe a bit more health? I can't, I don't, I can't really tell. Um, but for the most part, they seem normal. Okay, let's do this. I just don't want him wrecking me before it actually comes down. Okay. It's working at least. Okay. It's working. Which is good to know. So it's something it's something with the HVTs that they did in season three. How did I not pick that up? Okay, Mangler, go go take care of them. I'm tired. Uh, is tier three hard now, or is it just normal as it was before? I, I mean, they made again. They make the HVTs. The disciples in tier three are flat out broken. Um, 
But it's not supposed to be that way. <laughs> the regular uh, mini bosses in here seem to be normal. Like how it was before. So no real problems there, but um, like I was saying the other, just a couple of days ago, I used a Juggernaut suit because I got one like as a drop and I uh, just decided, oh, we, well, I didn't just decide actually. We were trying to kill the Mega Bomb HVT. We were testing it with the, the Jack Purifier and the Purifier literally did nothing to it. I refilled it, you know, whatever. We know about the, the Purifier now. Um, and it was doing nothing, and then I got the Juggernaut suit just dropped, and I was like, oh, okay, well, let's try this. We'll just take... Well, not even try it. I thought, like, hell, it'll, we'll just take him out. And um, it literally didn't do anything against him at all. Like, it didn't take his health down even one bit. HVTs are much harder to kill. They definitely got a buff. We ran the Jug suit also and barely killed the Mega. Yeah, I mean, it's like... They buffed the um, the HVTs, at least in Tier 3, way too much. Like, it's it's not balanced at all. So, I mean, they should change that. I'm sure they won't, but... Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they will or not. Um, the thing about the Disciples is what really kind of kills me. Because they had been super broken. And then it was like that for a long time, man. And then they finally fixed it. And I was like, oh, okay, they're normal now. And then what do they do? They go ahead and made them all broken again. Like, what was the point of that? I mean, we literally had a tier three H uh, HVT um, disciple down by the gas station. Uh, not this game, but the last game we just played, right? And... I, I put about 450 rounds into it, and the most I had got him down was to about... I took about 5% of his health away. Maybe. And then he just called in more zombies and went back to 100. Like, I was never going to get to the end of it. And we were using the new... Um, the new SMG. So... I just... I. I I don't know what they're Marking thinking. Contract. I don't want. Why am I going out there? Let's go get a car. Marking contract. Um. I don't know what they're thinking, man. Uh, uh, I, I, I honestly, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't understand. Like, what is the thought process behind doing this? And I, I mean, the the mega bomb thing. I don't. Th I don't agree with it, but I can. Again, I think it's like they were like, hey, man, our big, bad, incredible, you know, uh, super villain, super, not even villain, but, you know, super monster on the map is they figured out a way to take them out super quick, meaning the, you know, juggernaut suits. Let's make it so that's not even possible ever again. And it just feels like they buff this. We're talking about the HVTs now. The regular um, obviously still works with the jug suit. Um at least we found that out, man. Uh, but, uh, like, they, they overdid it. Even still. Like, that it, it, it that it doesn't work. That it doesn't really do anything to it. Like, Locke, 26. You were saying you and your friends were doing it the other day with the HPT's Mega. Were you all using... Like, I mean, how many people were there... What, were you all using juggernaut suits? Were you some of you using just triple papped weapons? Or like what were you using? I agree. They should have. They needed to nerf the, the purifier. They didn't need to nerf it into oblivion as far as I'm concerned. But that's what they did. Um, it, was, it was fun to use. There wasn't a lot of ammo in it. So it wasn't like you could just sit there and just, you know walk from one side of the map to the other and just only ever use the purifier and just take everything out but um it needed to be nerfed a bit uh again they i think they went way too hard with it but okay whatever um but yeah i don't know why they touched the bosses like i i, I, I 
again, they <laughs> they love to punish. They don't reward in this game. They punish. And uh, it's been that way since day one. They don't fix the little things that are broken that would make life way better on the map. The pathing issues, the zombies that are floating in midair, the ones that are walking underground and hitting you from underneath you, like... The uh, sometimes you know how the um, when you're doing these cargo contracts, how the destination won't show up on the map or in your on your HUD at all. Like, where is it? Like, they don't fix those things, but they want as soon as we get something that's a little bit strong and like overpowered, my god, they're uh, they're on top of taking that away from us. Like, uh uh, can't have that. What are you crazy? Are you enjoying our game? Are you having fun? We don't want that. Mm -mm. Can't, mm -mm. no, no, no. Five guys using triple pap weapons and a jug suit. Like, okay, see, like, that's what I'm saying. Was, was uh, before you got here, Luck. I was saying, like, I think what they, honestly, what their thought process was, was they made this super big, scary monster, this mega abomination. Right? Took forever. Also, a few mimics and uh, Manglish during the party. Yeah. Um. So I think they've increased. Speaking to that is I think they've increased, like when you do an HVT contract or you're doing something like that, you always get, I was gonna say a few, but it, it's more than a few uh, mini bosses that will come and try to uh, take you out while you're doing that. And right now I'm just kind of doing random contracts as I'm just talking to you guys and thinking about this stuff right now. Uh, we've already tested the stingers as much as we wanted to. The stingers are pretty good is the um, the end of that, by the way. the, the uh, Akimbo stinger, stingers. Honestly, of everything I've tested so far in season three, it's probably I would say the best gun so far. I do need to test out those uh, the swarms again though, for sure. But the stingers are pretty good. I got no real complaints with the stingers. Um. Yeah, so I think what really happened, like their thought process was, they made this thing to be this huge, scary monster that was on the map, and um, it got turned into not a joke, but like we knew how to handle it. It wasn't, it was no longer scary, right? It wasn't that it was not dangerous at all, but it wasn't scary. Um, and I think they designed it, they were like, you know, we need to buff it because people play in parties and we need to really make it so three people have a hard time with this thing because they're always playing in parties or whatever i mean forget solo players and whatever um and you know as you said like you guys didn't have a hard time with it but it just took a long time with five people with triple pap weapons and a jug suit five people and the disciple HVT disciple might even be worse right now. And that I, th I mean, I think they intended for the mega bomb uh, to be the way it is now. I think that's what they did with this update. I don't think they intended the um, the disciple, the HVT disciple, to be the way it is now. Like I, if they did, then they really, really, really don't play their game. Um, so that would be terrible. Disciples are just as bad as the Megas. I think they're worse, to be honest with you. I think they are genu genuinely might be worse. Like, I couldn't even get the thing's health down. Like I said, I got it. I knocked it down maybe 5%. Um, if this guy... Oh, we'll, just, we'll, we'll exfil together. He's my new friend. Oh, he's not exfilling, though. Well, I'll do it myself. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I just... The thought process going on here is just confusing to me. I don't really understand it. But it's been that way with every Sledgehammer Zombies experience. It's been always punish, never reward. And I mean, they're just continuing that with this, for the most part, now that they're the ones in charge of it. And they are actually in charge of this mode now, by the way, just in case you weren't aware. Is he down? Oh, shit. 
<laughs> I don't got you. Alright, we're gonna have to let that go. Buddy, you don't have to crawl towards me. We just got seven million. Here, let's do this. Oh! There we go. Woo! I got a little tight. <laughs> Alright, get that new kid. Oh, these manglers. You can keep your money, man. I don't need it. Okay, we'll, we'll have to call one in again. Um, we did notice that triple-packed VR11 does good against HBC. Oh, you know what? That's not, that's, that's not a bad shout there. That's something worth trying. The funny thing is, <laughs> I literally, because of, you know, your, um, your stash size and everything being so small, and, you know... I've been dealing with this for weeks now. My my backpack itself is just filled with stuff that I don't really have any attention. I don't want to use it all every time I load in. It's just that I have nowhere else to put it. But I, if I'm going to be on a three-day cooldown, like I actually need to craft these things so they're ready. So they're like there's stuff sitting in my backpack. And I literally gave away on stream, like I think it was the day Season 3 came out, I gave away three VR11s. Because I was like, what's the kind of use right now of these? Because we're not, you know, when you went into um, the Dark ether that was down on the south side of the map, um, you know, across from Bad Signal on that little island outside of Tier 3, and you were doing, whether it was Tier 4 or Tier 5, you know, the Elder Sigil or the regular Sigil. <clears throat> um, let's just go to this one. Um when you were doing the escort step, you know, in, in the Dark ether, VR11 comes in massively handy, of course. But since then, you really haven't needed it. And I've got the schematics for it. I, I did that, you know, I went in there a bunch of times. Like, I, I don't really feel like going back over there. Um, and I was like, well, we're not getting any new stuff for zombies for like a month, so... I'll just give these away. And I just gave three of them away. And it's like, you know what? Actually, you could be right. Because it's always... Well, yeah, I think it's, since we got the VR11, it's always been good on the HVTs. Um, maybe now it's just like the only thing that'll work. Which... I mean, it's not, you know... Well, against the Disciples, maybe. I think, again, I think the Disciples are flat out broken. I don't think they actually intended it. I can't imagine that they've actually intended that. Um, but, I mean, who, who the hell knows? What the hell was that? But yeah, you could be right about that, man. It's worth it's worth checking out, at least. I have one left. Um, like, ready to go. I have my schematic ready to, to craft another one anyway, if I wanted to. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I just kind of wish, like, I, 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 I enjoyed the mode a lot uh, when it was being updated and when it was new and we had plenty of missions to do. When we're getting one new mission per season or, you know, season and a half, and it's, hey, go into the Dark ether. Hey, go into the Dark ether. Hey, go into the Dark ether. It's like, okay. Hey, do we have to pick up, like, four items and then upgrade them? Oh, okay. Uh, hey, do we have to go in there and get some schematics? Oh, okay. Like, it's not that it's not fun, but it's, like, it's the same thing. Uh, like, okay. There's just not a lot holding us new, and the, they're not creating... Again, they don't have to do these massive story missions, like brand new ones, over and over and over and over again. We could have plenty 
they would have to add into things like, you know, hey, be able to build a wallet or craft a wallet, whatever, and then do, like, different tiers of that. Um, uh, make it so you know, collect a thon, do whatever, and then you can now have a larger stash size. Every time you upgrade it, it goes up by five. <clears throat> and you can upgrade it a total of five times, so you would be 25, so you'd have it up to like 35 if you got all the way to the end. Like, that'd be fine by me. Uh, being able to load into the game. I mean, this is zombies. It's not like... You need points for sure, but like... If you could even start the game like with a wallet with 25 grand? So like, even with that, I don't think you'd be able to buy everything like right off the bat you would still have to do some contracts if you consider that you have a, a a primary and like say you had a vr11 as your secondary or the scorcher or whatever so you wouldn't be able to get both of your weapons triple papped um and all the perks and you know whatever uh right off the rip you'd have to do some contracts or whatever but even still like kind of like so what you You've earned it, right? And then if you don't want to bring the cash in to challenge yourself, you don't do it. It's like with IW Zombies, you had Director's Cut. Um, you can start the game with Perkaholic and 25 grand. But you don't have to use it. It's a great reward and, the, you know, it makes playing casually very, very, very doable. Like, yeah, man, if I want to just hop onto a game, I mean, it's, uh, part of the reason, I mean, I love the map, but part of the reason why Zombies in the Space Line is my most played map ever is, one, again, it's a great map, period. But two, it's super casual, like, because I've got Director's Cut. And if I'm just sitting here, chilling, I might be watching something on, uh, like, a, a basketball game, a football game, or a baseball, whatever, something over here, a, a YouTube video, whatever, listening to a podcast, just being kind of casual. Like, I just feel like while I'm doing that, like, I just want to hop on and play some zombies. Like, a very casual, I want to play some zombies. And you can do that with that mode. And this game is kind of set up for something like that, but, like, have, have the missions. Have way more missions to do. <clears throat> Again, they don't even have to be story missions. Just create missions. Uh, like DMZ, like they did with DMZ. I don't know. Uh, it's funny because DMZ kind of did zombies better than zombies has. If you consider the raids that they had, the amount of missions to go find stuff, um, Building 21, they did the uh, haunting event, which was a, a, a night mode with stuff actually from IW Zombies, the, the, the alien spaceship. Uh, just a bunch of other stuff too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... It's just disappointing, man. It was like I was really into this game at the beginning of the year. All they needed to do was keep updating it, and they just didn't do it. <clears throat> not regularly, not enough. Um, so that's been that's been kind of a shame. I got to be honest, like kind of a well, geez, that's a bummer. Um, okay, so we're gonna leave on the stingers is one of our main classes because it's good. It's definitely good. Yeah. This is the Moors. Uh, I streamed that over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, something like that. So if you want to go back and watch that, you can. Um, really showing off what it can do. I, I will have the video out on it very soon as well. Uh, but we are going to change that for now. This is very good. So you see me changing it out. Don't take that the wrong way. But I want to try. And we're going to do this probably tomorrow. We're not going to do this now. Uh, I want to put on, because you guys know, or if you don't know, this thing is broken in multiplayer. I, it's not as broken as they say, by the way. It's broken, but it's not like, it's not obscene. Um, we don't need a trigger. It comes with a foregrip basically already, right? But not the best one. With the Merc for... Uh... See, for me, like, in Zombies, with SMGs especially, but really for most everything, I want to be able to hip fire like, all day long in 
have it be dead accurate. See, like, the hip fire spread is good, but the hip fire recoil is bad? That... I mean, it makes sense, but it's just a little... Eh. See, like, that That would be fine. Okay. So we're going to try this. This will be for tomorrow's stream. This is what we're going to try tomorrow. They are going to nerf this, by the way. They, uh, for multiplayer, at least. They've already announced they're going to. So if you want to really kind of give this a shot on... Um, in multiplayer, like, do it now. Because you're not going to be able to very soon. Here. Well, I mean, you can still use it. It's just not going to be as good. Although, again, it's not... I mean, it's, it's basically you're using an SMG. So it's like if you had on Overkill and your primary was, I don't know, an AR and this was... You had an SMG in your back pocket. That's basically what this is. Uh, that's blocked by using the... So you got recoil control, gun kick control, Sprint speed. You don't really want to slow down your sprint speed. Gun kick control. That'll be fine. Okay. Um, are there any... I kind of like that. I kind of like that, too. Don't like that. We'll pop that on. And as always, because we are Zombies players, we put on the Monkey Bomb. Weapon Charm. There we go. So, we're going to try this tomorrow, and then we're also going to try... And I'm going to write it down right now. Um, we're going to do the swarms again and and test those out and see if they're... As good, better, worse than they used to be. There's, if you don't know, those are the dual wield SMGs that, I mean, people have been using for ever, really, with zombies now at this point. Um, one other thing I'll mention, and then we're gonna get going for uh, for today. And by the way, if you've not left a like on the stream yet, I would greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, it is totally free if you want to. And Locke, thank you for uh, subscribing. D Requiem, thank you for subscribing as well. Um, and just check out the channel for a little bit. Totally up to you, but I'd appreciate it. Um, on April 12th, for those of you that have uh, Black Ops 3 on PC, a new mo uh, custom map coming out called The Crazy Place. So obviously it's going to be a an Origins. Um, there's a trailer for it if you want. Uh, Hybes is the guy's name. H-Y-B-S. You could search that on... Uh, YouTube here and watch the trailer or if you're on Twitter you can check that and uh, just check out his feed he released the trailer for it yesterday I think um, so it's gonna be some new stuff going on it's it's basically set on origins and I'm not exactly sure if there's a full Easter egg or whatever but I'm gonna download that and I think we're gonna be playing that on the 12th so today is the 9th so in just a few days uh, that'll be out will that be Friday I think Friday, yeah. So um, I think we'll probably do that. Hopefully there's an Easter egg, like a main quest Easter egg. If not, whatever. But we can we can try it out. Especially with, you know, MW3 right now. There's, there's not a ton to do, so... I mean, why not? Oh, you know what we're going to do right now, by the way? You got me thinking about this uh, lock. We are going to craft VR11. And we might as well. We're going to put that in there. And let's just... Uh, Unequip that for the moment. Oh, you know what? We should have... Should have done did that. Oh, I did have... <coughs> I did have one there. Do I have? No, I got a ray gun here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Whatever. It doesn't really matter right now. Um, I just wanted to like not have both wonder weapons. So let's we can swap that. Cause it's funny. It's cause it's one of the best items in the game. And I mean, if you're going tier three, it's kind of necessary but if you're going to the dark ether it really is necessary although this new dark ether is basically 
well, no, that's not true. Uh, if you're going into the regular rift, then it's it's tier two. But if you're going into the uh, sigil, dark uh, elder sigil, and um, regular sigil, then it's tier three. Uh, so you do need a legendary tool for that. But um, but this is a 24 hour cooldown, and there's other stuff that's like a three day cooldown that is just not nearly as good. So kind of what's the point? Like what do you? There's another reason why I say like I don't think they play their own game, guys. So I'm gonna craft a couple. We're gonna start crafting some ether blades. Having those ready. By the way, are you all super happy still about uh, having that blood burner schematic? Because you use them all the time, right? I have not seen. I've been playing this game very, very regularly. Since the first week that we got these, I can't tell you the last time I saw somebody even on a blood burner on the map. And I play pretty much every day. Not literally seven days a week, but pretty much every day I play this game. And I can't tell you the last time. I saw somebody uh, <laughs> with a blood burner on the map. Like, that's a schematic. That's a th I, that I don't know how much. It could be a three day cooldown, two day cooldown. I don't know. But regardless, it's. When's the last time you used a Wonder Waffle? All right. Anyways, all right. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We hit twenty likes. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. And um, I will catch you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll we'll do the um, the Renetti with the jack conversion kit on it and see if it's as awesome in zombies as it is in multiplayer blood burners are horrible yes they are <laughs> that's my point um and the new schematics that we're going to get for season three and a half are i mean come on they're, they're out of ideas i don't want to get mad um, and then we'll also try the, the swarms, the WSP, the dual wield swarms to see if they are still good as well. Uh, maybe, maybe they'll be even better this time around. Probably not, but whatever. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great night and, uh, Mitchell, happy birthday. And I will catch you guys. Well, happy birthday tomorrow. And it'll be a stream tomorrow. You're going to have your steak dinner, but maybe you'll be back uh, to the stream afterwards. Have a great evening and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Later, Eric, I thought you were at dinner, man. <laughs> Thanks guys. All right, have a great one. I'm I'm really ending it now.